The Erie Bayhawks hosted the Iowa Energy on Friday night. Otheas Jeffers, ladies and gentlemen, he is back in the league. He's the reigning D-League player of the week, and he finished tonight with 25 points, nine rebounds, seven steals, and five assists. Came in averaging 25 and a half a game. See the defensive pressure. How about two blocks from Jarvis Varnado? Leads to a break. Kalen Lucas finishes at the other end. Varnado would finish the game with 10 block shots on the night. Came in leading the league at four and a half block shots per game. There was more star power for the energy here this evening as Varnado finishes at the other end. He had 18 points and eight rebounds to go along with those 10 blocks. Bayhawks would try to hang. Scott Suggs with a nice game. 24 points, the rookie out of Washington. In the end, it was though the... Uh, Iowa Energy that would pull out the win, but knocking down the jumper is Scott Suggs. And then the Bayhawks on the breakout would uh, make this a game that actually lead by uh, nine in the third quarter as Suggs converts at the other end. But in the end, it was the Iowa Energy would put things away, although the Bayhawks would continue to linger and hang as there's C.J. Leslie getting the bucket. Leslie finished the night with 22 points and eight rebounds. And again, they would keep going back and forth with Leslie finishing at the other end. The uh, rookie out of North Carolina State making his presence felt early in the D-League season. How about Jeremy Tyler back from a foot injury, his second game in an Erie uniform after he was traded from Santa Cruz to Erie on draft night. He had his moments tonight, 20 points, nine boards on the evening. But in the end, it was the Iowa Energy pulling out a 120-112 win.